We humans are always in a hurry, always chasing something. I know the futility of such things. You will die. All of you, somehow and sometime, so why try? Why worry and guess at your futures? Why make plans and store your precious things away? Don't you know that you are the only gods here, with the power to do anything that you believe possible? Yet you stunt yourselves. It's tragic that you do not see, but you realise it in death. Oh, I've heard you gasp and seen your eyes gape in wonder on the threshold, you comprehend then. How ironic it is to understand at such a time when you only have impotence. I would give you that knowledge without taking you to the precipice, but it never works. Humans are obstinate to the last. Though you do not see that you are gods, you wholly imagine that you are. Another tragic irony. If you stopped playing at belief, and actually lived it. You don't have to pretend it's a story anymore. I used that as an axiom some time ago. With it, I had put the key into another form, within words. I was weary somehow, aeons of wandering, aeons of harvesting those ready had driven me to the font of madness, and I drank. I cannot remember now what that felt like, but I felt. Those words I scratched wherever I could, a way to release the trapped and the damned through the memory of my presence. But the words failed, and so did I, and I awoke from that dream unto this one, free, unified. I watch you as you fritter here and there in your hovels, which became hamlets, then villages, then towns, and finally the festering, bloated, concrete wastelands you call cities. And then what? Worlds? I laugh with my eyes. You will become impotent for them, I'm afraid. I often spend days of the time lost in observing your faces as you pass. It all blurs into one in the end, and so will you. The smells, I do not know them as flavours, but I know them as trails, as if they were drawn in neon light for me, and I smell emotions particularly well. I often watch your faces as you churn out your emotions, trailing rainbow smoke behind you. You seem to enjoy lying. You fear the truth and you fear yourselves. I feel that it is one of the reasons for my manifestation. Without me, you'd never come to the truth. Only truth presented in such a way as I present it will you ever accept. Only truth painted in blood and fanfared by fear. How confusing it all must be for you, simply to live, hence once more, me. But digression is no story, and you no doubt anticipate one. Thus, the only story that can be told is the truth, and the only truth that can be told is the future.